How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble and I'm back with another new FO3 review videos for those that are still playing this game and today we are going to be looking at a Man United legend, one of my favorite players back in the days and his name is of course Ryan Giggs and we are looking at the world legend version of course 6.6 .6 billion for one let's start off with his stats okay i've had a look earlier and was very impressed with what i saw so the first thing obviously you will notice is he's got a lot of pace of course 96 sprint 95 acceleration very good stamina as well good strength as well 88 his agility is very high balance is good 89 dribbling ball control is very good this one we know we expect and the real gigs is of course very good with his crossing 97 it's almost beckham like already passing 89 finishing is not that good 84 long passing is 91 and then his dot curve free kicks penalties are all very good positioning is also very good vision is good reaction aggression even aggression is there okay and we do know that ryan gigs is Skinny, okay in the game i find it a bit weird because these gigs obviously performs like a younger gigs but the face in the actual game is like gigs when he's in retirement where he's balding and stuff like that so it's kind of weird for an old gigs to perform like a young gigs anyway let's move on to the traits he's got 12 of them all the important ones work rates not ideal meet me but it's got a lot of traits avoid using weak foot this one we know he can never use his right foot the early cross player, finesse short, skill move king, very very important, and the star player price, like I've said, 6.6 .6 billion. I am not sure about the current economy in FO3. Seems like there's a lot of rich players, so 6.6. .6, I'm not sure whether it's considered expensive or cheap. Drop a comment, let me know. Alright, now let's go to the in-game analysis, and we'll see a Ryan Giggs in action okay let's talk about the strength first world legend Giggs is absolutely rapid now I remember reading Sir Alex Ferguson's autobiography and he says that when he first saw a young Giggs play he was sure that his feet did not touch the ground and it's almost true looking at how he performs in FO3 he can constantly outpace defenders like nobody's business his dribbling and ball control are insanely good, okay? As seen by the amount of times my friend were actually able to skin the opposition defenders with Ryan Giggs. And that is all a package together with his skinny body. We know Ryan Giggs have no body fat whatsoever. He is skinny and lilt. So his skinny body adds that extra mobility, speed, agility to him that makes him extremely, extremely slippery on the pitch very very agile very mobile he's very hard to defend against another thing that we realized with world legend gigs is he performs like a traditional winger he's very direct with his play he don't like to cut inside he likes to hug the touch line and that is why i think he makes a lot of assists he's very direct with his plays and his runs which is to get past the defenders and put a cross in so his production is pretty high as well so from the games that my friend were playing he did a lot of assists and scored a couple of goals here and there now the real geeks is also famous for his ability to zigzag around defenders arsenal fans from back then will remember how he skinned five of your defenders to score that wonderful goal in the fa cup semi-final at villa park i still remember so in the game it's almost like that as well he's got very high balance and strength it's not easy to get the ball from him his crossing is also pretty good as well i think this is evident from the amount of assists that he has but this is more contentious in fo3 because the crossing stat is not very obvious but in fo4 if there is ever a time where geeks is introduced i think his crossing will be crazy he's also very good with 1-2 passing and running in behind the defenders there are so many times where my friend were able to do the 1-2 pass and just simply outpace the fullback and put in a cross now this we have to say that we are not sure this is solely because kicks was super good or because the standards in fo3 has dropped due to more people migrating to fo4 but i'm guessing that it's just a combination of both factors Weakness wise, um, we are really nitpicking because he is really a very good player and there's not much weakness to him. But one thing is he's not the most prolific goal scorer, okay? 
his finishing is not very high he also does not really get into goal scoring positions he is more of an assist maker okay which i think is accurate in the real life example because the real gigs scored many goals of course in his career but not as prolific as let's say a cr or the Henri. so this is accurate not the tallest as well so don't expect him to score many haters but he don't really get into the box so you don't really get a chance to hit with him overall we'll give him a 9.5 out of 10 both my friend who played the matches and i who watched from the side were very very impressed with geek's performance he's extremely fast and direct so easy to one two with him to beat the defender and basically leave the defender flat footed and then he has that killer cross that is just begging for a conversion and if you have someone like a world legend cliver at the end of it most of the time you're gonna score from the cross now is he worth it? six billion I think uh, based on what I feel from the economy is pretty cheap today and in fact we are tempted to suggest that he might even be better than ultimate legend Henri considering that he is also cheaper and managers are generally richer nowadays I think it is quite possible to get a world legend Ryan Giggs upgraded version and just tear defenders apart a definite crosser stream if you are still playing this game if you like to cross i would suggest getting world legend ryan gigs and that is all i have for this review video hope you guys enjoy give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my review videos and of course do check out our facebook page as well double pebble and if you have not joined the discord join and have a good chat with the bros over there and i'll see you next time